We did get to revisit the Apple Vision Pro. Right. Uh, and what we did was watch spatial videos and look at some panoramas and photos just using the Photos app in the Vision Pro. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I've used the Vision Pro several times now. Uh, gotten fitted to my head several times, put it on, taken it off several times. The same things keep striking me about it, which is this thing is built so well, this thing is so heavy, <laughs> and this thing has an incredible set of displays. Mm -hmm. Like those things keep hitting me over and over and over every time I use it. Is the eye tracking weird every time? It's very intuitive. Yeah. It is so intuitive. Like I have my hand in my lap and I'm just looking at stuff and just just selecting it. Yeah. It's that that's still super great. Yeah. But what, what, what we got to do is now look at some of the photos and videos that we'd taken on our own iPhone. And there's an iOS 17.2 update that's out now where if you have a, I think it's a pro iPhone only, iPhone 15 Pro or yeah. Pro Max. Yeah. You can take spatial videos on your phone. They must be landscape because the two cameras are next mm. to each other and the difference between them gives you the stereo spatial depth, whatever. Shoot a bunch of spatial videos and got to watch them back on the phone. Mm -hmm. Basically, they look pretty cool. <sighs> Still a little gimmicky. I don't know that I'm going to shoot everything in spatial now just because you have that ability. It does yeah. knock you down to 1080p. The one thing I will say is the spatial effect, the depth effect is super strong when you're within like one to three feet of mm -hmm. your subject. So you get up close to something, okay. a subject, a kid, a pet, something like that. Then the spatial effect becomes very dramatic and you're mm -hmm. like, wow, this is so different and so 3D. But if you're just looking at someone five feet away or across the room or like a building or a lens, whatever, it just yeah. just doesn't look that different. I have a quick yeah. question about this. Yeah. yeah. You said it's only for the 15 Pro. Yeah. Yeah. Not the 14 Pro. Correct. Which also has three cameras. No. Spaced okay. Apart. The reason. Yeah. Give me the reason. Okay. Tell me. Yeah. So they, the like, environment. <laughs> <laughs> A16 Bionic. Yeah. So they, they moved the orientation of the cameras. So in order to do this, you have to shoot parallax, which, and if you have to shoot parallax, you have to have the same plane where the wide angle camera and the main camera sensor are. They have to be in the exact same plane. And then they have to crop into the, the wide angle camera to be the exact same shot, basically, as the main camera. So the 14 Pro, it was telephoto on the bottom and wide on the right, I, and now that's swapped. So those two are in the. It same. was either telephoto on the bottom and wide on the right, or or it wasn't like perfectly aligned with it. Well, so the two like leftmost cameras need to be the wide and the ultra yes. wide, right? Yeah. So that was not. And what they it also was on the need 14. to be like on the exact same plane. So this and is the so, first set of cameras that they actually satisfy all of those things right. and can shoot spatial without some crazy computational solution. I was just going to say, there's no way they can do a crazy Google, computational solution. Google <laughs> would figure that out. <laughs> yeah, and it would be would. like half as good, but you'd be like, whoa, that's impressive computationally. Yeah. And Apple is just going, get the new phone. I already yeah. know how you <laughs> could do this computationally, but yes, it would be yeah, a Yeah, like I get that it's not on the same plane, but the angles differences doesn't change from phone to phone yeah like but it would have gonna... to it would have to interpret the shot differently yeah. it would have to do warping and like all you have stuff. to like hire people to like figure that out <laughs> and stuff <laughs> apple's like... leaner than you think yeah <laughs> yeah well yeah so that, that's the reason it's only on the pro models right now um because the regular iphone 15 it's a uh, they're diagonal, diagonal to each other. So yeah. the rumor, the big rumor, because usually what Apple does is they introduce a new feature and it's only in the Pro but not in the regular one. And then the next year, that Pro feature comes to the regular one. The big rumor is that next year, the regular model will still only have two cameras, but they will be linearly aligned instead of para um, uh, diagonal to that each other. That begs the question, though, they're going back to what it used to be like. Yeah, it's looks which like is kind of funny. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Here's another possible solution. The regular iPhones never get it, and you only have it in the Pro <laughs> because it's the Vision Pro. That's you need what I was the Pro say. iPhone for the Vision Pro. Yeah, we don't have regular Apple Vision yet. Oh yeah. Here's well, one step further. The 16 true. comes out, and they disable it from the 15 Pro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't count it out. I got don't you, Apple. Count don't count it out. <laughs> so, what were the panoramas like? So, I got to shoot or look at a bunch of the panoramas. Essentially, there's two ways to view a panorama. One is it's up on your wall, and it's just this really wide image, mm -hmm. which is cool. And there is a little bit of a parallax, so you can sort of look into oh. the edges of the panorama, which it's cropping out a little organically. Huh. Okay. And then the other is you hit the panorama icon, and it fills your view. So if you have a really, really wide panorama, way wider than two by one, it will fill your view, and you can literally turn your head and look 180 degrees at the entire picture as if you're in the scene. Hmm. Not too dissimilar from, remember when you took a street view photo? You remember, Google. what were they called? Photospheres? Photospheres. <laughs> Not too dissimilar oh, from yeah. photospheres. Okay, interesting. Just without the top and the bottom part. Right. So right. it's that. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Huh. How long until they put this in the sphere in Vegas? 
<laughs> in the sphere? Well, this, you need a sphere sphere. You need like a, the top and the bottom was what made photospheres so cool. Man, I miss photospheres. <laughs> Me too. Those are cool. Some of the first Google Photos images that I have at all are photospheres Same. and they are nightmare fuel. <laughs> because, <laughs> because the stitching is... Because the stitching is awful and people move around and there's like one video where like my friend and I, like I'm the top half of the body and she's the <laughs> bottom half of the body. And it's really disconcerting. They could bring that back with way more computational smarts and they could be amazing. Yeah, totally. They could do it. They sh they probably will. Because ev all of this VR, like AR stuff, I would imagine that there's going to be yeah. more of that. Because Apple's doing that with a 2D like panoramic image. But right. they, Apple could easily have you do a you know, full yeah. capture. I could picture a world where on the next iPhone or with the next Pixel phone or whatever, you just stand in place and kind of like scanning your face for face ID, you just point your phone all around yeah. you like a magic wand. And once you've hit all the spots, it'll stitch it all together into this like photosphere. Yeah. It's literally, it's a, a, literally it's a great a name. It's sphere. a sphere of, of photos stitched together yeah. where you can just look around this image that you're in. And now that they have wide angle cameras, which they did not have back in 2016, yeah. or actually that was like 2012, Stitching. the photosphere was early. I was using it on my Galaxy S3. Galaxy Nexus for me. Yeah. I never yeah. used one. It wasn't that. It was, at the time, <laughs> it was pretty niche. Yeah. It was like, wow, you know how you can, like, step in, like, the Google Maps, like, like yeah, look at yeah, Street yeah. View stuff? Yeah. You can take your own. Yeah. And for, like, the six of us nerds, we were like, I can take my own. <laughs> yeah. It was Let's start epic. taking them. Yeah. It was sweet. Yeah. Do you know when they killed Photosphere? Is this a... Tr <laughs> Not a trivia question. Just random fact. I remember them killing it. Um, when did they kill it? I'm yeah, surprised they did. they did. They don't usually do that. So Guys, that's Google. what I thought. So it turns out they got rid of it right before the Pixel 8. Oh. Which is like very recent. recent. Does very that mean recent. you could go find a like Pixel 6 or something? Or to probably. me, that says they're going to update it in some really fancy way. Are you mm -hmm. saying it was still in the Pixel 6's Apparently. Yeah. UI? It and was seven. somewhere deep in the settings oh, or something. Whoa. That's, that's awesome. crazy. I should have been taking them all these years. Yeah. I could put them in the Vision Pro. <laughs> when you search Google Photosphere, it just says Google, and then the link says Photosphere. It says no information is available on this page, and then it says learn why. <laughs> <laughs> learn why. We killed it. <laughs> oh, another little news blurb. So originally the Vision Pro, the rumor was it was going to come out in March, and now the rumor is that it's going to come out in January, which means we're oh. only a month away. Yo, I'm ready. Which I'm ready for. I'm ready. I'm excited. I hope so. that's a correct Hopefully word. that's a correct rumor. Yeah. So, yeah. I can't wait to come back and you guys are all in, just jacked in, in the metaverse. I'm going to have to start doing neck muscle exercises. Yeah. Like I said, F1. I wore that thing for 15 minutes and I was ready to take it yeah. off. You do the F1 uh, yeah, yeah. thing where they like pull on your neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I need that. I yeah. need that. I need the F1 exercise. Hey, Meta, what should people do when they're done listening to our podcast? When people are done listening to your podcast, they can subscribe and leave a review, share it with friends, and follow your social media accounts for updates on upcoming episodes. Correct! Did you, did you test that before you tried it no. on the camera? That was pretty solid. That was, that's, I think that's exactly what they it should It missed do. telling you to like. Oh, true. But I'll take subscribe. Because subscribe. it assumes that a podcast is going to be audio only. Yeah, it doesn't know about the YouTube thing. Oh, true. It should also tell you to watch throughout the whole thing to increase watch time. And also subscribe. Well, so oh, yeah, that too. All of this feedback for Meta, but yes, B+. Oh, and Mariah's here. Like and subscribe.